YouTubers, it's Linda again. I have a, let me turn it around, a fabulous, I think it's fabulous, Queen Bee journal to share with you today. Uh, she's covered in this uh, canvas, pink canvas fabric all the way around, inside and out. Uh, she has a faux leather, uh, there you go, faux leather uh, spine, hidden spine. And then here on the front I have decoupaged layers of different uh, things depicting that we're all about bees in this journal. And all of the papers come from a new resource for me. It's my porch prints. And uh, if you haven't visited her site, you should. Uh, she, these prints are just tremendous. Uh, and I've done several bee journals, but I think this one has the best uh, paper prints in there. And she has this 100% cotton uh, lace here. And here is that spine again, that faux spine, leather spine. And the back is part of the prints uh, over this uh, pink canvas, which is a heavy duty fabric. And the canvas is also underneath the leather, which you'll see in just a minute. And then here is the grunginess uh, of her. And uh, her name is Queen Bee. And all of this sewing, this journal has more sewing in it than I've ever done. And then here is all of the threads that I've left out here in the, in the back of it. And then you can see some of the threads here in the, uh, on the side. And so uh, her name, like I said, is Queen Bee. She's a big six by nine journal. She has 160-ish pages. And so when you open her up, let me get get it in frame here. There you go. When you open it up, you have this uh, honeycomb um, stencil pattern that I did here over the the canvas fabric, and then you have this burlap huge pocket trimmed in lace that has been sewn, and then inside is one of my uh, paintings uh, papers uh, that I did. And you can just fold it up and put it back. And remember now, you can write on this. Uh, did I do that in frame? I don't know. This is my first video today. I've been off for a couple of days working on my uh, journals. So, very smooth paper. And she just goes back in there. And here is the star of the journal. And it's Be Beekeeper's Journal. Uh, here and like I said, this is my porch prints uh, that you'll see throughout. And then I have uh, an envelope, a large envelope here with another B uh, ephemera. Uh, most of all, I would say 99% of this ephemera comes with your packet. It's a huge pack, so I mean it was worth every penny of it. Now, I did some stamping on the envelope. This is my envelope, but the ephemera comes with the packet that, that it'll, it took me all day to cut it all out. It was so big. Now, this on the base that I have here is Tracy Fox's Silhouette Paper. If you buy that package, you can just use it as a, I mean, it's already got the nice background and everything to it. Did some cutting, some fancy cutting here, a little bit of stamping. All of the pages were uh, edged in espresso chocolate, uh, distressed presso chocolate. Then you have some little print here. And then uh, I've started using my, one of my favorite clips is the brass clips. And I clipped this envelope after a little bit of decoupaging um, and stamping on here that you can use and and I'm clipping them where you can move them around wherever you would like and here's some of my sewing it is a yellowish on the one side and then the uh, black on the other which goes with the bumblebee theme here 
a little pocket, more sewing. And if you don't like all these threads, uh, you, you're more than welcome whoever purchases this journal can uh, cut them. And then here is a little B. Another little page, which I ran the lines on the back and did some of, uh, this is her, it comes just like this. Now this is paper from my stash where I can continue to, I sewed all around it, both sides, where I can make these pockets for you here. Did some stamping on it, but you can still write over all of this. And then you have all of this cardstock ephemera here. And then you have this big journaling folder, which is the traveler's journal size. A lot of times I pull my paper away from upcoming traveler's journals, which I have to replace and, and put them in these <coughs> pockets. And here is more ephemera. Now this ephemera I think is either Gail's or Tracy's postcards. I'm not sure. And then the ledger paper and then what I did here, instead of cutting this off, you can use this as a tuck point and just clip something in there. So you have a lot of pockets and a lot of ephemera throughout. And like I said before, a lot of sewing. And this is a floral uh, design which goes with the bees, you know, without the the bees and the flowers, we, we would be losing a lot. Another little... Let me get that. Mixed media paper. Uh, this is heavy cardstock here that you can... Uh, decoupage on, glue anything on there that you want, and here is one of the little bee envelopes that came with the, the kit, and this came with the kit, and I just made it in, this is part of, pardon me, part of an envelope, and I just cut it and made it as a tuck point. I hope everybody's having a good day. We've had a lot of rain here in Louisville, and um, we're growing mushrooms in our backyard uh, from all the water. And my sinuses have really is really acting up. Another little journaling folder. And I hope you're noticing all the sewing. Going on here. I think I took a half a day. So a lot of love went into this uh, journal with all of the cutting and the staining of all of the papers and then, you know, the sewing. I love the bee cards. And then a, a four by six cardstock that's been coffee stain. This is a double pocket, I think. Yep. Let's see. In this journaling folder. Also over here I did a double pocket. Yep. 
Yvonne should be proud of how much ephemera is all the way through here. If you haven't caught her videos, you should do so. She does a wonderful job. We have two different styles. Uh, well, I think everybody is really virtually has their own personal style of, of their journals. Let's just look at this little cutie. That little squirrel. Isn't he cute? I had to put that in there. I don't know who. I think that's Tracy Fox's. I'm not sure. And this is... Uh, don't remember. <laughs> and then... But this is... Comes with the pack. This is part of a dictionary page. Look at all the sewing. Oh. Again, heavy cardstock throughout. Now this envelope up glued down. As an envelope that you can stick your things in. I just wanted something there. And there's that gorgeous queen bee again. And another envelope that I glued down and then put a little pocket on. Now you can finish decoupaging these. I think that's one reason that I've started doing this because I realized that a lot of you users, pardon me, journal users, are decoupaging and so I make sure that you have all this heavyweight paper uh, that you're more than welcome to finish these envelopes. I start them and then you can finish them. Now this one you can put something behind uh, like a pocket, an envelope pocket. I don't think I did this one that way. Yeah I did. So this is a pocket too. And then you have another big envelope here with a huge B card so you have that there and then you have this pocket here I think this one went there and this one goes here and it says things to do. That's your little line note card. Graph paper. Mixed media paper with a little tuck spot here. Another pocket here. So you're not hurting. Now what I did here, you can take this and put anywhere that you want it. Uh, well, you could actually do it there too. And uh, put your name and address or whatever you started the diary or whatever the journaling that you do. And then put it anywhere in the journal that you would like. Now this is a decoupage pocket that I did. Uh, this is part of my painting paper there. Then here is your journaling folder with larger. This is nice cardstock that you can play with. Cardstock and then this is a, a lighter cardstock that has been coffee stained. So you got all kinds of weights of paper that you can play with that you can either write on, or you can decoupage on, or a combination of both, or you can make them into picture frames, and put some of your photos in here. I don't know, with the iPhones and your computers, I don't know how many people do photos uh, in their journals. 
you'll have to let me know about that. What, what, how many of you are actually putting photos in your journals? And this was your mixed media paper, heavy card stock, card stock, card stock, card stock, card stock. Now all of them are different weights of card stock. Some are much heavier than others. But you see each one of your ephemeras here have all been, and this is a double pocket, have all been uh, stained with distressed ink which is another part of all of the love that gone, that has gone in here but no, I really enjoyed uh, making this one I enjoy all of them but this one was really I like that the way the paper looks like it was torn, hand torn, which it was, and then it looks like it's been burnt. And another large folder, pocket folder is what I'm calling them. Then you have another traveler's notebook insert here. And you can journal here. Did a little decoupaging here. Here's the fabric that is on, on the inside and outside. And then this is a small piece of the uh, painted paper that I do. And then a little washi tape there. Then on this side you have a double pocket. You have the big pocket and then you have this little one that I put right here. And then in the big pocket you have, and each one of your uh, folder pockets, or pocket folders, uh, has this little place here that you can either write in and then clip it back, or you can tuck something in there and clip it. So it's just another space for you to decide what you'd like to do. And then here's another traveler's notebook insert. So there's a lot of things here for you to explore. Washi tape. This is where I did the uh, binding and I just cover it in washi tape. This is heavy cardstock right here. Oop, I missed this too. And another pocket on the back. I think I went uh, pocket crazy, don't you? But I had to do all these pockets for all this ephemera that you get with this package. I wouldn't go spend all that time cutting them out and then not using them. Another little tuck point. Another pocket. This is mine, and this came with the pack. This, whenever you see those, and this is this crinkly uh, seam binding, and then another clip-on decoupaged envelope. That again, you can see that you can uh, finish it or leave it. It's beautiful the way it is. This is some of my uh, painted paper that I have stamped on and then I put this little B on there and then on this side I put a little a little pocket with a little B card and you can move that around any place that you want and I've always got it hooked onto a nice card stock then over here instead of doing a well I did a tuck spot that's what I did so that's a tuck spot I'm just using the clip to hold this in there good and then more of the fabric glued on. A 
coffee stain with lines on the back. I just glued that on there uh, just to decorate the coffee stain paper with the sewing. And then here's another nice size pocket on the front of the pocket folder. And inside this pocket folder you have another double pocket. You have a little tag here. And then inside of the big pocket you have this on cardstock and more ephemera from the pack. So you can see how big these pocket folders are. Then on this side you have double pocket and you also have more ephemera and you have the little secret compartment there. Cardstock. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I think that one must have gone in there. And that phone just won't stop today. Well, it So cute. I mean, everything in this pack. I was so impressed with this paper pack. Another little envelope, khaki colored envelope that I have clipped on, decoupaged a little bit. And then I put one of these favored cutouts. I tried to use it, but I, I couldn't find a really a place that it really fit. But then it really makes this envelope. I think. So I'm going to flip it here. I love these brass clips. And then we're to the back. And in the back you have this fabulous last page. And then you have more of the pack here uh, in the uh, big, big pocket. Some people call that a band, but it's like a big pocket. And here I took one of Stacy uh, Fox's silhouette pages, and it's been lined. And then I just cut it out, and I put the whole thing after some stamping in here for you. So another great place. And this is more of the honeycomb that I stenciled on, and then uh, glued it in over the fabric. So you can see it's covered inside and out and again she's got that hidden faux leather spine and this is the front and I hope you enjoyed it it's Queen Bee she has 160 pages she's hardcover this is the Masonite uh, cover uh, that Nick the booksmith recommend, recommended in her class and so she's she's a hefty hefty girl here and I just think that she's gorgeous. And I hope that you enjoyed watching her. And thanks so much. Bye-bye.